Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So, as you can see, I've got another log up here on our work table sawmill. And uh, getting through the log, I got about this far and the blade broke. So, I'm thinking it's probably time to have another look at my blade guides. So, a couple things that I want to address here. One is, I believe that these guides here, these little blocks, are not coming far enough forward on the blade, and that accounts for some of the blade drift that I've been getting. So these only come about halfway across the width of the blade. I think they should be coming just a little bit farther. And I want to do something about these bearings to make them work a little bit better, so I'm going to adjust that too. So fundamentally, I'm gonna be looking at this assembly this piece here. That is today's adventure. So I have the blade guide now set up in my vise just to show you some things and I have a little piece of blade here. So the blade sits in like so and rolls across that roller, this bearing, on its way to the log that sits out here. Two things. One, this roller is actually on the wrong side. That roller, the bearing should be on the other side so that the last thing the blade passes through is the guides. So I'm gonna move this piece here over to the other side, that's one. But the second thing, and I think what's causing a lot of problems with drift, is that this is sitting pretty high such that currently the blade guides themselves are only grabbing about a don't know if you can see that. I'll try and zoom in on this for you. The blade is uh, only about halfway into the little guide blocks. So I would like it to be more kind of three quarters of the way in. A little bit more like that. Uh, so I get a little bit better stability on the blade as it's going through the, you know, just before it goes through the log. On, on both sides of the log. So Take this, move it over to here, drop it down a little bit, and I'm going to make uh, the, the slot here for uh, this a little bit deeper to provide a little bit more clearance for the blade as it goes through these guides. So I would like to be able to get uh, almost the entire blade held in those guides if possible. So a little bit, uh, little bit of work to do there. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to use my grinding wheel, cut that off, and then we'll dig that a little bit deeper, and then we'll weld that back on. I may need to do a little bit of gusseting in here just to give a little bit more strength to the blade guides themselves, the blade guide holders. So I'll try doing that. I chose to use the Dremel tool. This is a pretty small cut and pretty confined space, so this, uh, the Dremel works much better. I've already cut one tab off, I'm just cutting off the second. So I'm going to use the uh, uh, grinder with a, uh, a grinding wheel just to take out a little bit more out of this notch here. Make that a little bit deeper. Put the same on this side.
and that will let the blade be almost entirely covered in that uh, within the guide. So I, I'm pleased with that. That's good. Now I can line the bearing up, just push it out a little wee bit from the back. I'll cut out the notch on the other one too. And again, the blade will sit almost entirely within that slot now. So that's going to give a lot better uh, purchase. In fact, I'm going to take just a little bit more off this one, off this top side. Just a smidgen. That's how it, uh, it's going to sit in there. In fact, if you look through that hole, you can actually see the gullets. So uh, that means I, I need to push it out a little bit, but that's, that's with the bearing, that's gonna be perfect. I have the clearance that I want. All right, we're back in business. I've got the uh, saw blade now sitting well into the blade guides. Uh, so that should really help with the uh, stability of the blade. And I did make sure that the bearing is on the far side of the guide. And while I was in here mucking about and welding, I did make one other minor change. And that has to do with this bolt here holding in this piece. On this side I had the bolt coming in here. On the other side I had the bolt coming in the bottom, which didn't provide much clearance. So I made an adjust. I fixed that. I put the bolt going in this side now to hold up tight. So I have a little more clearance on the bottom of the side, uh, bottom of the sawmill as we're going through on lower, smaller cuts. And I'm also doing a little experiment here with this uh, dust collection, just to try and catch some extra dust. So just a little experiment. Let's see how that goes. And we'll carry on with the cut that I had here. So with those new blade guides uh, installed, I'm a little more confident in the cut. This is where the cut had ended previously. And on this side of the cut, the wood is a little rougher than it is on that side of the cut. Not a lot, but just a little bit, indicating that there's a little more oscillation on this end than there is on that end. So the blade guides are, are making an improvement. So we'll keep cutting up this log. I'll continue on with this tomorrow. So just a little short video today on that little upgrade. My little clamp that I had here on my dust guard or dust collection modification didn't hold, so I have to come up with a better way to do that. But it's always uh, improvements and, and uh, a build in progress. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.